Can we start dreaming? Uh, are you tired of winter yet? Is another good question. Because I think uh, we're at about the time where I where my attention turns to the summer. And when you think about summer, you know what you think about? Ice cream trucks. And you know what a lot of children are duped into getting at ice cream trucks? The popsicle that looks like SpongeBob. You ever made that mistake? I think I've gotten that popsicle before. Yeah. The SpongeBob popsicle, but I thought it was done. What do you mean done? Isn't it not a thing anymore? Uh, well, kind of. The SpongeBob popsicle has been redesigned. For a, a new audience, Popsicle has announced, the company Popsicle has announced that they are rebranding the SpongeBob uh, treat. They are redoing it. And so now it's got a brand new design that they hope uh, will appeal more to SpongeBob fans. And so, you know, I will say, even as a radio professional, it's difficult. But, I mean, we can all picture the sad, sad state of the SpongeBob Popsicle you used to get. Now they've simplified it. Now, is that a better or worse idea? Apparently, uh, it now it's really just eyes, smile, and then most of it is yellow, and then there's a red bottom half. Isaiah, you can see the new design here. The simplified new take on the SpongeBob Popsicle. What say you? I mean, the main difference is the uh, the eyes. Yeah, the eyes used to be they used to be blue, did they not? They used to be gumballs. They used to be gumballs, and that was possibly the biggest error of all of the errors with the SpongeBob Popsicle tree. Oh, you're saying that that was wrong. Many people online are saying that that is. A huge error that they're taking it away. No, the gumballs were were a negative to me on the SpongeBob Frozen Popsicle treat. Well, let me ask you this then. Yeah. Because now they're chocolate. That's a, that's that's better. But well, listen, I, but listen. Mm -hmm. I know you said that's better because chocolate sounds good. Yeah. The flavor of a SpongeBob Popsicle is fruit punch. Uh huh. Mm. So your go-to flavor when you go to your typical ice cream place? Can I get um? Let's do the fruit punch ice cream yeah. with just chocolate syrup on top. Let's just mix those two that have nothing in common. Now that's questionable. So I think the chocolate's an improvement on gumballs, but I think the fruit punch, yeah, it doesn't make as much sense. I think the gumballs made more sense with the fruit punch because we're going for a whole fruity experience. You can't just throw chocolate on top of fruit punch. But gumballs are and always have been a wild thing to pair with ice cream. Especially this because is more of a sorbet, though. It's still any frozen treat. Gumballs? When do you go? You ever go? You've been to an, uh, an ice cream bar, right? Where you, you, you go through, you make your own. You know what they don't even have there is gumballs because it doesn't make any sense. They have, like, sprinkles and chocolates and nuts. They don't have gumballs. That's because you want to know why they have those things? Yeah. It's because the ice creams that they have there uh -huh. are vanilla and chocolate, not fruit punch. What sounds weirder, people? Fruit punch paired with chocolate or gumballs paired with fruit punch? Gumballs paired with any ice cream doesn't make sense. So you're going to go. And, so next time we go somewhere together, you're going to say, I want yeah. fruit punch with the chocolate, please. I'm not going to choose it, but I will never walk into graders and say, you guys got any gumballs here? Well, I want you to know that the internet is harshly disagreeing with you. This is, that's, it's a wild take. And think about this too. <laughs> you're making the wild take. This is, this is crazy. You know what else is when you're, a, you know, who orders these SpongeBob frozen treats is not, it's, it's for children. It's a cartoon character. Yeah. These are like five-year-olds. Most five-year-olds shouldn't even have gum. Yeah, but and they aren't expecting it the first time they get this either. So then what do they get? They get a SpongeBob that doesn't even look like SpongeBob and it's got gum in it for some reason. It's what it is. It's an exciting, exciting part of the treat. I have not ordered this in like 20 years, but I knew the eyes were gumballs uh -huh. because it's such a, a big part of the treat. I think it has those big googly eyes on it. Another thing that the young, the young children love is yeah. the big googly eyes. I think it's a miss, but it is what it is. It was never my go-to treat anyway. Am yeah. I heartbroken by it? When the ice cream truck comes, I won't be ordering it anyway. Yeah, that uh, I can agree with you on that. Wasn't that a great Riot clip? While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.